Blonka, let me sleep. <laughs> Good one, Harry. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Harry! Can't you see I'm busy over here, mate? Right. Just please. I know you've got a pigeon, and I know it's very clever. But leave me alone! Go take some photos or something! <laughs> Seems that bird of yours is more useful than some of the men. <sighs> J'aime cet endroit. C'est calme, c'est paisible. C'est étrange de se dire que beaucoup de gens sont morts ici. T'as combattu ici, non Comment c'était Pour être honnête, j'ai du mal à croire que j'ai survécu. J'ai... J'ai perdu mon frère dans la Somme. Ouais, toutes mes condoléances. T'as entendu ça Y'a quelqu'un J'ai vu du mouvement. Was it madness to head on to no man's land Perhaps. At the time, I thought only of my dream, only of the dead tree. Par ici, viens dire bonjour. Par ici, viens dire bonjour. Pauvre bête, elle peut pas traverser les barbelés. Allez, Va vers le char, mon minou. Par ici, viens dire bonjour. Hé, hey, minou, minou, viens par ici. Sauter d'ici Hé, hey, Minou, Minou, viens par ici <rire> Petite minette, regarde un peu ça Elle est venue nous dire bonjour J'y crois pas <rire> J'ai hâte de raconter ça à Marie Hé, hey, qu'est-ce que t'en penses, brave bête Est-ce que la guerre va bientôt s'arrêter Hein Hein Est-ce que t'aimerais être un chat Et tout ignorer de la guerre Et pouvoir me balader librement et faire ce que je veux. Bien sûr que je veux. I found three bodies from Alpesbach, boys from home. I'm so sorry. The first was Karl Günther. 
Please give his family my condolences. Betty's son was there also. I know she will be devastated. C'est beau ici. Avec qui a pu planter ces fleurs? Avec tous ces cadavres, elles poussent facilement. Ouais, c'est le pauvre garçon. Ils nourrissent les. The last was Jonas. You know, Dr. Siegfried's boy. He was a good friend to Max. Pas un pas de plus, Fritz. Arrête-toi ou je tire. Attends une seconde. Je pense qu'il vient juste pour les morts. Though Max was not there, these boys were all someone's son. All these boys deserved a proper burial. I became consumed by the task. It takes its toll on a man, the constant presence of death. Harry Lambert, you say? You got a letter from Julia Taylor. Sound familiar? All good news, I hope. Dear Harry, it is simply not the same here without you. I have no one to talk to. And if I didn't know him better, I would say that even father misses you. Thank you for your photograph, Harry. It is terrifying to consider that those bullets will all be fired at the enemy. It makes war seem all the more real. They say back home that the war will be over soon. You shall be home before you know it. I do enjoy receiving your pictures. Please send another when you get a chance. Sincerely yours, Julia. Hey, Harry! Barrett was looking for you. How about this weather, eh? Just the one letter today, friend. Do you really think my men have time for your stupid little tricks? Make yourself useful and fetch my documents. I don't care how you do it, boy. Just get my documents. Looking back, I don't know what I was thinking sending the bird. I guess I wanted to put a smile on the Major's face, to take things back to the way they were before Paris. Instead, with his plans flying out over no man's land, all I got was silence.
still sound strange, but a bird found me in the depth of my despair. It carried intelligence from the enemy, pulled me from my madness. I had to act. Saved by a bird, Katrin. And there was only one person who could have sent it. Then the Major turned, closest thing to the devil I'd ever seen. Do you realize what you've done? He roared, inches from my face. Do you have any idea what was on those papers? I told my superiors I found the plans in no man's land. I could not decipher the information they contained, but I hear we are to be moved to Pasendale. I don't expect you to believe this, but not only did that bird fly back to me, it brought a message with it. Danke, hero. Could it be possible that this bird of mine somehow found the German? I have arrived at Pasendale. Every man now carries a gas mask. Some question why the officers even expect a gas attack. But I know. How much had the young Canadians suffered to give me this information? Truth be told, most of war is just kind of waiting around for something to happen. And I waited at Passchendaele for months before something finally did.